Preparing for the worst means preparing for an active shooter. And that's what St. Tammany deputies are doing, preparing at an elementary school in Slidell. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is here to show us a realistic drill, Jordan. Susie Kurt, although there were no students at Mayfield Elementary School today, the scenario was as realistic as possible with armed deputies running toward the faux threat. St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's deputies swarmed Mayfield Elementary School Monday morning during active shooter drill. We have one shooter down in this room. Inside, deputies went from classroom to classroom to neutralize the threat. They're using some munitions that are using their real weapons that they're, they're, they're actually trained with, uh, they're certified with. It builds the not only the, the training capacity of what they need to know, but it also it builds the relationship between each other on what to do and how to do it. Dozens of deputies were stationed on campus, along with many of the department's resources. Sheriff Randy Smith says planning the drill started this past summer. We started, of course, right after the active shooter in Texas. Uh, we started preparing a training class just to get our guys familiarized with this type of training. The sheriff says the Robb Elementary School shooting in Uvalde, Texas, sparked a conversation among him and his deputies. Because it could happen here, it could happen anywhere as we've seen. And we don't want to make the mistake by not being trained and prepared to respond to any type of active shooter course. Sheriff Smith says this is the third active shooter drill under his watch and it won't be the last. Practice makes perfect and we're going to continue to practice to make sure that if we do have an incident, we're well trained and prepared to respond. Following the drill, the department met with one another outside of the school to discuss what areas could see improvement. Susie, Kurt. All right, Jordan Lippincott training, uh, well, on some training. Thank you, Jordan. And tonight's